Guys, in today's video here, I'm going to be talking about this launcher right here. It's called Sea Launcher slash or dash best launcher. Um, very, very cool. You can see it's got plenty of downloads. Lots of people are liking it. So we're going to, I already went ahead and downloaded this and we're going to kind of go through it and check it out. See, show it to you guys. So here you go. This is the launcher. Um, this is how it comes default. It's pretty much exactly like this. Um, very, very cool. It's got a lot of features in it, so I'm going to try to do my best to go through it. It is very, very smooth and runs quite nicely, um, but there is a lot in it. So we're going to go through it, like I said, as best as I can. Um, just so you can see, app drawer. It's a pretty standard app drawer. It's got all your applications in it. Um, there are some settings here in app drawer you can click on right here, and um, you can add a folder and you can put different things in your folder. So I'm gonna put like a folder full of like, maybe like root applications. Let's just do some of those that I know require root access if you know what I'm talking about. If you don't Google it, it's really cool. I do lots of videos on root access applications. Um, shoot, that's pretty good for right now. There we go, hit okay. And you can see you have a nice little folder up here and you can add more into it. Um, unnamed, I'm just gonna call it root, hit okay. And there you go. You've got that root folder. So pretty cool. You can do some nice things like that. You can um, icon sorting. Um, newest, oldest, or alphabetical. I'm going to do alphabetical. It's, I always like mine. Uh, classify, hide apps. So let's say there's an application you really don't want anybody else to be seeing in your device, but it's still there. Um, shoot, let's see if I can come up with one. Here, I'll actually hide my application root junkie right there. So now that application will not show up in your app drawer. Oh, there's R. Yeah, so it's not in there anymore. No more root junkie. But it is there, and then you can uh, go in there and unhide it too. And then market is the last one. Then the last thing I'll show you here in the app drawer is search, and this is just to search for an app really quick. So shabam, you can go right into drive um, and get right to it very easily. I'm not, I'm not going to go into it right now. But uh, that is how your app drawer functions. Very nice. Nice large icons on the bottom, very easy to use. All right, so we went through the uh, app drawer. There are some things that are kind of neat that are added into this thing, like the cache cleaner. You can see you just tap it and boom, it freed up 816 megabytes of cache space. So that's really nice. Those kind of things are really cool in here. Um, another thing I can show you, if you swipe down, it brings down your notifications really automatically if you swipe up. Anywhere on your home screens, it'll bring up these settings. And bottom is settings. Next, you can go to preferences. And preferences get you into C Launcher preferences. So right now, this is my default launcher. You can turn that off and get your old launcher back if you want to do that. Um, then you can go into effects. And right now, I'm in tunneling. Um, but you can change all these. So let's just show you a different one or show you a difference of them. You can go to like cube and change those or you can go to advanced and you can reset launcher or exit launcher and then some information about the developer what version you're on very very nice feedback if you want to send them feedback tell them about improvements things you can do that you would like to see in their launcher they're really good on uh, updating and trying to really meet everybody's needs on this launcher um, another thing that you can do to get into those transition effects which I just showed you is you can go right here and go to effects and then here's that wave. And then what's cool, if you click on it, it shows you what the transition looks like. Here's tunnel. That's how that's going to look. Breeze. So this is just when you turn your pages, what they're going to look like. Um, here's one that's fan or out tunnel. Um, there's some different ones. So it's very cool. So you can definitely pick you know, what, what you like. If you like a certain style transition while you're switching through your pages, I kind of like this tunnel one. I think it's kind of nice. Um, also, as long as you're on these screens, you have uh, themes. And the default theme is what you're on right now. I've installed a couple other themes, and I'm going to show you one of them. This one's Mario, and it'll apply the theme. And shabam, you got all this whole looking Mario setup going. And you can go in here, and everything looks very Mario y. So, uh, just really cool. Really cool, definitely liking the themes that you can put on here. Um, I'll show you, when you're in here, you can hit add and it'll bring you right into the theme store. 
and there we go so here's some some there you can go to categories like movies for example and download all these themes and apply them very easily they're all free don't cost any money um, here's here I'll show you another one I downloaded already which is pretty cool this is like the frozen theme everything looks like frozen if your kids like that kind of stuff uh, pretty 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 neat really you can see it, it themes all your icons and your wallpaper and all that um, I'm gonna go back to stock theme for right this minute and continue on showing you guys this so then you have wallpapers again it's the same thing sea launcher has their own wallpaper gallery and uh, you can kind of go in there and check those out so you go to online and you can download any wallpaper you want and apply them same thing along the top with categories then you have add and um, there are some different widgets that are for sea launcher which are right here which are kind of cool so I'll show you this one right here this one is battery and it tells you how much time you have remaining on your charge and a little diagram and then you can hit this little button right here and it'll shut down processes and try to give you more time so you just picked up a little bit of time on it and now your battery will last a little bit longer um, so that's really neat uh, it's pretty cool there's some new things you can do in here you can click on the battery and get into a lot of power saving modes and different things you guys can adjust to like I said increase your battery life um, so like I said this thing is very very in-depth there is a lot to it um, let me show you some more in here you have folders and apps if you want to go here system widgets you can add them right there see shortcuts so see if I, you got this beauty center I'll just I'll just add some of these and we'll scroll over app history flashlight and all apps so there you go you can see you've got a whole bunch in here now and the beauty center is what gets you to all of that your theming your wallpaper ringtones effects and icon packs and like I said it's all free you can download any of those um, you can go into boost center and this will get in here and yeah pretty cool right so you can come in here and you can just one click and it'll clean out your RAM and get things to work a lot better for you one key cl clean key boom done all right, so that's pretty neat. SD card, you can do all kinds of battery saving manager managing applications. And then here's kind of neat. This is actually where you can come in and you can actually take your pictures and icons and stuff and create your own theme. There we go. There it is. So very, very cool. Um, just create, create now and you can start figuring out your own themes, um, which is very neat. And then this right here. Here on AZ Tech to 2G Network, download wallpaper that cost data, continue to remind. I'm not sure how this works. I've not used this yet. Okay, so it just totally randomizes what you download. So it just picked a, a wallpaper and, and downloaded it. So pretty cool. Um, definitely fun. Then you got flashlight right here, which turns on your flashlight. You can't see it in the video, but it is on, on the back, your LEDs. Um, so like I said, lots of fun customization. Um, definitely if you like to theme your device this is all in one right here um, also like just some widgets are really cool you can just tap on them and they'll you know show you some more weather stuff or you can tap on the time and it'll open up your clock um, shoot what else can you tap on right in here and you can choose what city it's looking at for weather you can tap on here and this should see if I can do it here yeah choose your skin for your weather so definitely like i said just tons and tons of customization in this application that is just really fun i'll show you one more uh widgets in here that is kind of neat so we did the power one i think this the cleaner one there it is so this is the same kind of thing you can just touch it and it cleans up your memory just really simple and easy to use also has more settings in here if you want to get into them and adjust some other things in here that are very easy to use so like i said very cool definitely a neat neat launcher with lots and lots of options check it out for yourself check out the beauty center and like i said developers updating this thing constantly so very very slick hope you guys like this review here of c launcher this is on my galaxy note 3 um stay tuned for more videos like this and we'll catch you guys in the next one root junkie out